Now, first alert weather with Chief Meteorologist Tom Messner. All right, let's turn to the weather where the last couple of days we've been dealing up with these uh, pop up thunderstorms, Tom. <laughs> yeah, we really have. And so now people are starting to look ahead and making their plans for the fourth. So they're looking yeah, to I'm you. Feeling, I'm feeling really good about the fourth. I think that especially that day is going to be gorgeous on the way there. Maybe a bump or two in the road, but boy, it's not going to be bad. Hey, want to take you to the top of Bolton Valley. Take a look at this. Lake Champlain is way out there as we look off to the west. Certainly not much going on. We've got some clouds up there. 83 degrees today and the wind not too bad at this point. I noticed that the lake, the waves on the lake were pretty hefty first thing this morning and then by the afternoon it was dying down some. We've got a 92 in Lebanon, had a 92 in Burlington, 87 there. Now Plattsburgh at 84 degrees. Hey, I don't know if you were out and about today. I got to tell you, it was brutal <laughs> right in the Champlain Valley. When you get to 70, see the pink color here? That's when it feels oppressive. I was on my bike. It was just like, oh, I'm not sure this was a good idea. Looks like that humidity is going to hang in there for a bit. Of course, everybody is asking about the big holiday weekend coming up. Independence Day itself, that is Saturday. Yeah, mostly sunny. 86 degrees. I think Sunday is going to be pretty good too. Maybe the odd shower mixed in like a 30% chance, three and 10 chance, something like that. Once again, we're looking at 86 degrees. This is Storm Tracker. Want to make two quick stops for you. First of all, please take a look at what's going on in Albany. Oh, wow. Are they getting it hard right now? And then you come on off to the west. We had a thunderstorm that came through Bennington and it's making its way over the border down toward North Adams at this point. So in terms of our viewers, you know, it's kind of moving out of here, but hang on. We've got some coming our way. This is the St. Lawrence River right here. So the River Valley, of course, Ottawa Valley right here. Look at the rain that is headed toward northern New York. So it is going to get wet over the next couple of hours. Certainly no question about that. We're going to keep an eye out for thunderstorms. I think most of the action will be in northern New York, maybe clipping parts of central and especially southern Vermont over time. So we'll continue to watch that for you. By tomorrow, we're looking good. We've got clouds in the morning in the Champlain Valley, the outside chance for a rain shower, and then we find some sunshine by the afternoon. Temperatures top out in the 80s, but hang on. It depends where you are tomorrow. So let me step you through this. This is future cast 830 tonight. Some showers, maybe some thunderstorms around most of those in northern New York. Here's the beginning of tomorrow. All right, by later in the day, one o'clock in the afternoon, we're starting to see some pop up showers and thunderstorms south and off to the east. It's kind of isolated stuff. That's going to be the case later in the afternoon, 435 o'clock before we start to get rid of it by evening time. And here comes Independence Day itself. It is going to be good. We end up with a lot of sunshine. First alert weather for tonight. Showers, thunderstorms will be coming to an end. It's going to take a little while for that to occur because we've got some more on the way here. Temperatures in the 60s it's going to be humid. And then for tomorrow, isolated storms south and off to the east. Otherwise, turns out to be a fairly decent day. Clouds giving way to sunshine. Champlain Valley high temperatures in the low 80s. 83 will do it. On the 4th of July, 86 degrees, a lot of sunshine, partly sunny Sunday, maybe a shower. Monday, Tuesday look good. We go back to 91 on Tuesday and Wednesday with scattered storms that day. Thursday and Friday, hot, but it looks dry.